Okay guys, so time for a little bit of a lesson in terms of technology and computers in particular in this case. I went to bed last night after that live stream that I did. Computer worked fine, shut it down, went to bed. This morning came out. Now, mind you, I I have no idea how this happened, so mm -hmm. this morning came into the office one about the usual, went to boot up the, the computer. Nothing. Oh, that's strange. Try plugging things into the computer, see if there's any power going to the, you know, USB ports. Nothing. Uh, that's not true. Some of the devices were receiving an intermittent signal. They, they would appear to power on for about two seconds and then off again. So that's telling me, okay, we have either a problem with the motherboard or the power supply. So, after work here today, uh, it's now 4.30 in the afternoon, I'm recording this, I decided, okay, time to test this thing. So, I've taken it apart, and I have the power supply sitting, and I have no idea, hold on, I have the power supply sitting here. So... First thing we need is a paper clip. Preferably not one with the plastic on it. In this case, I had to cut the plastic away because we're going to need this very soon. First thing you want to do, probably remove this from your case, disconnect everything from it. You're going to need your motherboard connector, connect it to it, and you're probably going to need some sort of load. In this case, a Molex-based fan that we have laying around here. So, first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you're disconnected from the wall and that you're switched out so that you have no power going to it. You can, a couple of times, just make sure there's no drain, you know, you drain it completely off. And then you want to hold... This is easier said than done, by the way, because I have a small desk. Actually, a decent-sized desk, but not much room on it. You want to hold the cable like this, so that your connector is facing down. And if you count two over from this empty slot to these two pins right here, or you could go from the right... One, two, three, four. One of these is your power, and one of these is a ground. Now, this power normally is a green wire, and you just follow the green wire. However, a lot of us don't like ketchup and mustard colored uh, cords, so we buy power supplies with black cables, and we have to do this the hard way and count them in. But I know for a fact it is this port and this port. I believe this is actually the powered one. And this is the grounded one. So what you're going to do, you're going to take your paper clip. And you're going to very carefully, I'm hoping I can catch this on camera. Easier said than done. You're going to put... Power, so you're gonna hook your paper clip into those two ports, those two spots, just like so. You want to make sure that they are contacting the metal pins inside, and then we're going to very carefully move back over here trying to keep cable in place there. You're going to plug your power supply in, keeping it off for now. You're going to plug it in, and it is now connected to the power. You have power running to this. Again, double check this, make sure you don't have any kind of 
things that might short out to any of the other pins, you only want to short these two. What this is going to do, this is going to act no different than when you short, than when you push the power button on the case. Because that's all you do. You basically are shorting these two pins out. We're going to flip on the switch. Now this one right here doesn't, this fan doesn't power up on its own. Not until it reaches temperature. But we should be seeing some lights or something on this thing. Nothing. Or, in some cases, this actually has an easier way to test. There's actually a fan test. Nothing. Nothing. So, we have a dead power supply, right? I mean, there's there's no question about it right here. This is clearly a dead power supply. At some point, I now need to check all my components in that. But first, we're going to just double check. We're going to verify by plugging this all into that one. See, maybe, just maybe, it's just this cable, right? I mean, who knows? It could just be this cable right here. These cables are identical, even though it's two different case or two different power supplies, two different manufacturers, these cables are identical. So maybe it's the fuse that sits right there. Let's double check. Okay. Now, the only difference between this power supply and that one over there, that's the one that we are now trying to confirm is dead. Is first off, I know I don't need load on this one. This one actually has a way to check that all on its own, plus I've maybe already done this. This is an educational purposes. Same cable. Let's plug it in. Again, making sure we're off. Now, push the switch. Hmm, nothing. Okay. Well, isn't that interesting? Okay, so we're going to check it using some different cables. Okay, once again. So, we've got power to this one. So, we have one of two things going on here. Either this cable is completely toast, or the power supply is toast. Now, I would assume, and that's a bad thing to do normally, I would assume that's the power supply. Because I've tried using these cables on it, and as far as I'm aware, you don't need the little fuse that's in here on that. So, it could be a combination of the two. Now, my deeper concern is obviously, is my motherboard okay? Are any of my components connected to it okay? This is a, a bit of a dilemma. So, yeah. Now I'm gonna shut this off. Alright guys, got no way of knowing, for a fact, which it happens to be offhand. Now, I'm suspect to believe that it could be the cables, but it's very, very difficult to tell. The top pins... Or for the smaller power supply. They're the ones that we just tested. Smaller pin, or the silver pins, are from the one that appears to be dead. So, I don't see any difference. So it's not in the pins. 
So in the meantime, I need to check this cable somehow. I'm not sure how yet. I might be able to check up a voltmeter. Maybe. But I can't be certain of that. In the meantime, I either have a dead power supply or dead cables. Either way, Corsair, I hope you warranty you 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 know actually carry your five year warranties on these. You better actually follow through on them because this thing's not even a year old yet. I don't think. All the same, it's not that old of a power supply. It's a five year warranty. So, should be covered. Alright. Hey. A little lesson for you guys in terms of how to check a power supply if it's dead or not. Now, again, can't verify the cables. I, I would have to probably cut into this heat shrink tubing to check the fuses. I don't want to do that because it might invalidate the warranty. I'd rather let Corsair deal, deal with that. Or, I might have somebody I know, I don't know, but I live near, that might have stuff to check the cables. Or the power supply. I See if there's somebody else who has similar cabling that can check. Because, again, this cable doesn't work on that power supply. I don't know why, but it doesn't. I've tried it. Um, yeah, not really sure. In the meantime, yeah, I'm going to be going nuts until I can check my components, and yeah. Thanks for watching. So, this is one of the first things you check. If your computer doesn't boot, doesn't seem like you're getting power to peripherals, this is the first thing to check. It's a pretty easy check. Typically, it's the same thing for every power supply. Double check with your manufacturer, though. Always check the manufacturer's websites. They usually have, will show which pins to check, but all it takes is a couple of cent paper clip. I know a few guys that will actually, like, take old plugs and run them so that they can actually just wedge this in permanently. They, they run this special thing that they just plug it in and, you know, see if it works. But I don't, I don't have that. I just have a cheapo thing or I make a thing with my little kid over here. Alright. Thanks for watching.